I'm Debbie Simpson, current chair of the Board of the Chamber. And I'm Brent Cooper, the current interim president for the Northern Kentucky Chamber of Commerce. Yesterday, the Chamber's Board of Directors met to discuss a formal policy position relating to the Brent Spence Bridge project. Over the past two years, the Chamber has spent thousands of hours of staff and volunteer time, as well as thousands of dollars, to diligently research the project. One thing we would not do was rush to judgment on how to move this project forward, and we invested heavily in dollars and time to determine the most realistic, best option for Northern Kentucky. Most recently, this included a study we commissioned by the University of Kentucky that showed the economic gain for our region would be significant, even with usage of alternative financing methods like tolls. Today we wanted to share with you the position that we have taken and give you the rationale behind it. The recommendations we are making to our governor and legislators are to protect the approximately $60 million allocated in the governor's road plan and work towards securing more dollars for the Brent Spence Bridge in this road plan and future transportation budgets. We need every public dollar possible. We want them to adopt public-private partnership legislation as submitted in House Bill 407. This bill does not mean tolls on the bridge. What it means is leveraging the private sector's efficiency and expertise to have a tool to build the bridge quicker and cheaper. By selecting a P3 approach, it's estimated we could save $500 million and shave off at least three years of construction time. We want to assure the project scope includes secondary transportation needs for our northern Kentucky communities. We've been working with our local governments to identify needs they have that would alleviate any challenge that is incurred by bridge construction, and we need our legislators to fight for delivering these projects. The bridge will be a gain for all in our community, but we must ensure our cities are prepared for the construction. While the Chamber has worked for years to obtain direct federal and state funding for the Brent Spence Bridge, based on the facts available, it will not happen without alternative funding for the project, and this includes tolls. Therefore, the Chamber requests that any tolls or alternative financing methods that are used to pay for the Brent Spence Bridge be used only for construction, maintenance, and operations of the Brent Spence Bridge and not allocated to any other project, and that upon retirement of the debt service on the Brent Spence Bridge, tolls or alternative financing methods be withdrawn. We want to require that any tolling schedule be similar to that of the Louisville Southern Indiana Ohio River Bridges project. Our locals must not take on the burden of this project. With the local commuter rates in Louisville at $1, we will not stand for anything more than what they are paying. We urge Northern Kentucky's federal delegation to allocate additional dollars towards the Brent Spence Bridge, either through discretionary appropriation, or if the federal government was to develop a sustainable method of funding mega infrastructure projects like the bridge. The reality is that we will not change the federal government overnight, or even in a decade. But if and when a funding stream is created, we need them to allocate those dollars to this project. It is of such national significance. Now I'd like to let our interim president, Brent Cooper, say a few words on the project. It's been an honor taking on this role. And in my daily conversations with our members, it's become clear that we need this bridge. We've been debating this for far too long, over 15 years now. And we're finally at a point where there's a path forward to getting it done. As a business owner myself, I know some decisions require careful thought and analysis. I've also learned the right answer is not always the most popular answer. This was a consensus building process, and I know some of you are going to disagree. But our message to you is that we hear you, that we want to work with you, we want to talk to you further about how this could be done, and overall we want you to know that we've got your back. We want you to know that you're going to be hearing a lot of misinformation out there, tolling rates that are astronomical. We would not support something like that. We're expecting the tolls to be similar to what the Louisville projects are, being, are facing, somewhere around a dollar for commuter traffic. 
We've also heard that P3 legislation that we support means tolls. Folks, P3 doesn't mean tolls. Building a bridge means tolls. If we're going to get a bridge built in the next decade, it's going to have to be some sort of piece of it's going to have to be tolled. That's just the way it is. That is the reality that we are facing. And it's something that we're going to have to all talk about and come to grips with. We believe that our opinion today reflects the vast majority of our members, both large and small. They tell us over and over that we need a bridge. When you consider that 30 minutes in traffic equates to a gallon of gas, and the gallon of gas is more than $3, facing a dollar toll we can live with, it's more cost effective at the end of the day. And we've got to grow our economy. Also, 35% of our manufacturing, logistics, and distribution for the greater Cincinnati region happens right here in northern Kentucky. And 75% of businesses on the I-75, actually 75% of all businesses in greater Cincinnati are within five miles of I-75. Look, you're going to be hearing a lot more from both our small businesses and large businesses, telling our stories, explaining why we think we need more roads and bridges, and in particular, this Brent Spence Bridge Project. We look forward to working with you. We look forward to having the community conversation and to moving the region forward together. Thank you.